Welcome back to I Am Angus, brought to you by the American Angus Association and the Igenity Profile for Angus, providing Angus breeders with comprehensive genomic results for multiple economically important traits. America's ranches not only produce cattle, they also ensure protection of historical and cultural treasures. In Montana, Doug Inson helped lead an effort by ranchers to preserve sites along the Lewis and Clark Trail. And a few steps from his home, the site where Fort Parker once stood is now protected forever. On a lot of these, these ranches, these family ranches that we still have uh, uh, all over Montana, at least, uh, there are generations there, and you can see those direct connections with the past. We, we've always felt uh, really protective of this site because uh, uh, it, it is part of our history, which of course uh, helps to explain uh, who we are and why we're here. There's that strong connection with the past and what those people were and what they did actually helps to explain where we are today. Sometimes we're a bit presumptuous or pretentious, uh, but it was their dreams that drove them and gave them that determination to act on it. And it seems to me that that's what we need in uh, looking into the future as well, is, uh, is that same kind of hope, uh, the same ability to dream about the possibilities. And, uh, and here they found hope, here they found space. Uh, here they found a possibility for uh, their dreams to come to fruition. And uh, I mean, why else would you come to such uh, difficult circumstances as those people faced? Uh, those homesteaders on the frontier, an amazingly high failure rate, yet the dreams were there. There were possibilities here. Well, I think, I think ranches are at least one clear example of of the past uh, uh, telling the story of the present, the past actually creating the present, because that history, that family history, has created who I am. And this is happening all over the region and all over the West. And those are the things really that, that help to create the American character as we know it, and to help to make America the most productive country in the history of the world. You know, these, these places, these ranches, are in families for generation after generation. They are really the carrier of so many, so many good things, so many good things culturally for America, uh, the reminder of what we are, and so many, uh, the carrier of so many hopes and dreams for, uh, for individual families. Um, and I see in these ranches, really, the preservation of American society, a reminder of what we are. And sometimes I think we've lost some of that, the pride and the determination, the drive, and the stubbornness, um, the truthfulness, the independence, strength of character that all grow out of the experience of living in rural areas and working with diff difficult economic situations, uh, uh, dealing with the vagaries of world markets and, and the weather. What a crazy industry to depend on those things. Yet these families do it generation after generation as well as day after day. And, uh, and they do go so, so well with, uh, with those traits, those traits being passed on to our children and having those things learned. Um, and the hopes that they will also have for the future, all carried in this, in this land.